Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Fly Fly Fishing. And today let's talk about something I have run across for years and years and years. Going right back into the 90s, having chats in um, fly shops or on internet chat rooms, on forums, you name it. People would say, well, these modern stiff rods, they, they don't, they're not real nine weights or eight weights anymore. They're 10 weights or 11 weights, blah, 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 blah. And it's based on the idea, really, that you've got these heavy lines now, like um, the uh, Airflow Sniper line or the Rio Outbound, the SA Titan. They're, they're really big, heavy lines. I mean, you look at the Sniper, it, it's basically, the nine weight Sniper basically weighs the same amount as an AFTMA rated 11 weight. So there's an assumption built in there that if you need a, a line that heavy to make a nine weight rod work, then it's not a nine weight anymore, it's something else. And I've gone around this circle many, many times. So yesterday I went out into the yard with my, uh, the schoolyard with my old Blanchard Algonquin 50 something year old fiberglass rod. And I put a seven weight uh, Airflow Kelly Gloop streamer line on it, which is sort of eight weight-ish in the AFTMA scale. And the whole idea is it's going to be underlined, so let's see how far it'll go before it starts falling apart. Because typically what happens with underlined rods, you can only cast them so far, and then you just don't have the mass in the line to go any further. And if you try to substitute arm strength, everything goes bad. So typically that's what you would expect, and that's exactly what happened. I got around 70, 75 feet, and that's it. I couldn't get any more out of it. The line was too light. Now, the line I did have on that rod, it's an AFTMA accurate nine weight bog standard taper that goes back, I don't know, I don't know how old the thing is. And I decided to put that on my NRX plus nine weight saltwater rod. And if it was too light for the rod, it will do the same thing that happened to the Blanchard with that seven weight. It will go so far, then it won't go any further and it'll just fall out of the air. And it'll be a big mess if I try to put more arm strength into it. So let's go have a look at the footage and see what happened yesterday when I put that AFTMA accurate nine weight line with a standard nine weight taper and I put it on that NRX plus saltwater rod and tried to go for distance. So let's see what happened. Okay, I'm kind of curious as to how well my old nine weight uh, Blanchard Algonquin will handle the modern seven weight line. So this is the Kelly Galoop streamer line. It's a little overweight seven weight, short head, um, typical streamer line, similar to a bass bug. And it's only a little bit overweight. And I'm not going to be able to shoot the whole line this time around, not like the last video. But I'm getting very fishable distances out of it. Um, I'm getting, I don't know. I came up hard against the reel. That's, oh, about 70 feet right there. So I'll probably get a little bit better. So this is a nine weight fiberglass rod, over 50 years old, and I've got a seven weight line on it. Yeah, it's starting to get a little wicky. But you know, we're, this is a 90 foot line. I don't have much left on the reel. So I don't know what you say there, 15 feet maybe. So I'm pushing 80 feet with this right now and it's a seven weight line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna string up my nine weight, my NRX plus nine weight, and we're gonna put on it a uh, AFTMA accurate nine weight. It's a crappy old cheap line, and it will be the type of line that would have been sold back when that rod, this rod was new. So let's string this up. Don't mind me, if I'm rocking around right now, the schoolyard is a swamp. And every time I move, I sink. So, we'll see how we do here. So this line 
is nine, it's a nine weight NRX blast salt water rod. This is an AFTMA accurate nine weight line, which is, I don't know, somewhere about under 40 foot long in head length. So it's not a heavy line by any stretch of imagination. So we're gonna see what happens when we put this line on this rod. Now, the thing I want to stress many times before is the AFTMA standard was built for trout fishing at 30 foot length of line out of the guides. That's why that standard was built that way. I don't think anybody who designed that standard had a rod like this in mind. So, is it still a nine weight? Can we say it's still a nine weight? Well, let's do a, a trout cast. Perfect. Standard trout cast. Typical type of distance I would do. There's what? We'll say about 12 foot of line outside of the guides. Loads up the rod beautifully, makes a nice cast, turns everything over. I could be casting a dry fly right now, trout dry fly. So, that works just fine. Short distance, it loads. Uh, I think there is basically a minimum distance here. We're now we're shooting. Um, I've still got the belly in my hands. Here's the rear tape right here. So, yeah, no problem. So, at normal trout fishing distances, this thing works just fine. Ooh. Something interesting. My backing is spinning on the reel. I'll have to fix that. Not something you see often with Dacron. So when we're going for distance, it's smooth. I won't know. I won't know if I can do a full 90 foot cast with, but we'll see. Yeah, it's still going. I should get it to the backing knot. Fix that backing on here. Ooh, there's the backing knot. We'll see if it'll get it all the way out there. There we go. AFTMA standard nine weight. It's an 80 foot line. There's your backing knot. No problem at all. Dead straight. Laid it out nice and clean. And so somebody says, you know, modern rods aren't the rated weight, they're really heavier. There's your proof of the pudding. No problem at all, that's a 90 foot cast, close to it, thereabouts. Yeah, 88 foot, thereabouts. Obviously it came up on the reel quite hard, I could have gone further. So, living proof. You know, this may be rated as a saltwater rod and it handled really heavy lines. You can handle equivalent like 11, 12 weight line if you wanted to, but it'll handle an AFTMA accurate, bog standard, simple nine weight line. And it'll cast it right out to the backing knot. So these rods really are nine weights or eight weights or 10 weights. They do cast the rated weight. So keep that in mind and don't let other people tell you differently. Cheers.